the thief knot, the bag knot, and it's also called the bread bag, the bread bag knot. That was hard to say. Try saying that fast. Bread bag knot. Oh, anyway. Anyway, this knot today is the knot that we're going to tie. It's a very short, simple little video, this. It's not a knot that you would probably use all the time. The whole idea of the actual thief knot itself was that it was used to tie up, uh, I believe, sailors. Sailors used it to tie up bags. And the whole idea was that if a person who was not very skilled in knotting came along and saw this knot, he would mistake it for a reef knot. So if he undid, say for example, a sailor's bag or a store's bag, stores on ship would have been stored in bags, they would probably undo this knot and mistakenly retie it as a reef knot because it looks similar to a reef knot. And what I'll do is, a little bit later on in the video, I will show you a reef knot compared to this as well. So what we're going to do is, oh, hang on, let's have a look. We've also got, this is in um, the Art of Knotting and Splicing, United States Naval Institute. Let's see what they say about the thief knot. And there it is, the thief knot or bread bad knot slips under slight tension and would be even more treacherous than the granny, except that it is not apt to be tied by mistake superficially it looks like a square knot so they make no mention of this as to what it was used for but in Ashley's it does refer to the fact that this was probably used to tie up sacks and because of the if a sack had been tampered with you could tell because the person who retied the knot would probably not tie the thief knot he would tie a reef knot instead so anyway I'm going to undo this, let's get on and tie, and then I'll show you a couple of characteristics of this knot at the end of the video. So anyway, I'll see you on the other side, let's get knotting. So as you can see, what I've got here is I've got my two ends of the lead, and hey look, I've colour coded them now, we've got port and starboard. Red and green, port and starboard. So anyway, the first thing that we do is we get hold of our cordage and what I do is I put a bite in one side like so. The next thing I do is I take my working end, the starboard side, and I pass it through the bite that we've created there, bring it round underneath, underneath everything, and then once it's gone past un underneath everything at this point here, I take it down through the loop like so and pull it up and there you go we now have very quick very simple one in number thief knot so let's just undo that again so left hand side form a bite right hand side comes through and what we're looking for you can see here that the working end on this one is at the bottom so what we're doing is we're bringing our working end from the right hand side bring it round underneath everything so it's going to the come out the opposite side to our red working end bring it round underneath everything back down through there like so and pull it up tight very quick very simple and very easy but this is now where the caution comes in this particular knot is not safe i'll pull it up tightish and what i'll do now is i will just put a little bit of pressure on it and you can see that as I start pulling it, it's coming undone. And the only thing that's preventing it now from completely coming undone is the fact that my whipping on the end here is actually preventing it because it's quite tight and knotting it, not allowing it to twist. Now, if say, for example, let's, let's just tie that again so you can just see the difference between this one and a reef knot. So if I tie this one again, like so, very quick and simple, and there we have it we have now our thief knot. Just tighten it. That's it, nice and tidy now. And what I'm gonna do now is get my other piece of cordage here. And of course, because I was prepared, I haven't untied it. But now, in this one, we're gonna tie the reef knot. And the reef knot, we all know the little saying, left over right, right over left. And we tie our reef knot like so and I have got a separate video just on the reef knot or square knot itself 
and you'll be able to follow that and I'll put that in the description below as well. But now you can see them both here side by side and you will notice that they both have what looks like the same structure. It is the same structure but the big difference is is the reef knot here or the square knot both leads come out on the same side i.e. on this particular case at the top but on our thief knot here as you can see they come out on opposite sides one at the top one at the bottom which does make a difference and obviously not as secure as a reef knot a reef knot is a little bit more secure but please just be aware the reef knot is not a brilliant secure knot just be aware of that okay anyway so that brings me to the end of my thief knot video and what I'm going to do now is tie up all my bags and I'll see if any of the family are now stealing my supplies because I'm a bit of a fat boy. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you hated it, but please do leave me a comment down below and tell me, tell me if ever you've seen this particular knot in use. I'd love to know about that. And so thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.